Hey everyone, welcome to a new vlog. It's Saturday. Um, technically still morning, actually. I've gotten a lot of stuff done, and I didn't realize it's not even noon yet. Um, but I woke up, and I just went to the library, actually. So, oh, sorry, there's a couple of them. I picked up my holds that I had for, uh, Jane Unlimited by Kristen Kishore. I'm really, really curious about this, because I read the first Graceling book a long time ago. Honestly, don't remember it. I have to get to reading it this year and next year. But I've heard, like, really... I, I didn't mind it. I didn't... I, I, I mean, it wasn't particularly memorable, but I remember being like, oh, this is all right. So I'm curious about this, because I've heard it's like a hits every genre you could possibly imagine kind of book. So I'm really, really curious about this, and I've only heard really good things. And the cover's really cool, so if I end up liking it, then maybe I'll keep an eye out for it on Book Outlet. I also picked up, oh my goodness, um, Enter Three Witches by Carolyn Cooney. This book's actually like 10 years old. My friend Melanie, shout out, posted a haul from her library um, in the TBR and Beyond book group on Facebook. And this was in it. And I was like, Macbeth retelling? Oh, you've piqued my interest. So I picked that up and uh, hopefully I can get to this in March. It's not super long, actually. So I may even take this with me on my trip. Um to Edmonton in uh, a week and a half or so because it's super short. And finally, I I have my copy of The Bone Witch um, by Rin Sh Shipeko. I, I mentioned, I think in my last vlog or the one before, I actually got an arc through work of the sequel. So I was like, I should probably read this. <laughs> it's kind of a sign. So I'm going to try and read this. And if I like it, then I have the arc of the sequel to immediately jump into. And if not, I know of someone on Facebook in the TBR and Beyond book group, I think it is, that really wanted it. So I'll pass it along to her. So that's so far as my Saturday. I um, I have to do my filming for my weekly wrap up. And then I want to get started on the arc I have for Ace of Shades. My friend Amanda is like obsessed with Amanda, Fo uh, Amanda Foodie. So she wants to... No, right. That made sense. Yeah. My friend Amanda is obsessed with Amanda Foodi. Um, and so she wanted to know if I could, she could get my physical arc once I was done with it because she wants to keep it. So I'm going to try and read this so I can get it out to her ASAP. I think it's about 400-ish pages. I would really ideally like to finish it by the end of the weekend. If I can, if it's really good, I could finish it today. I've done that before too. So Hopefully, I have a feeling it's gonna be good just because like the plot sounds there, sounds like like five different plots going on in like five separate books all wrapped up into one, and they're all plots that I enjoy. So I'm really really curious about this one, um, and hopefully it'll pick me up because I didn't love Daughter of the Burning City. So I'm really really curious about this one. And then um, after that, I'm probably gonna get started on Slate by Jennifer Sombersby. Oh, where's my arc of that? Is it is? Yes. So either Slight by Jennifer Somersby. I have an e-arc of this too, but I also got a physical arc of it at my conference. And or I want to get to... Ooh, Amanda wanted me to send her a couple of my other arcs that I wasn't probably going to keep afterwards or so. So I'll probably try and get on Daughters of the Storm soon, as well as Daughters of the Winter Queen. I have so many arcs to go through, it's exhausting. Um, but yeah, so those are my next couple books kind of planned out. We'll see how how quickly I get through them all, but yeah, so I have to fill my wrap up and edit and then I will kind of settle down and start doing some reading today. And that that will be my Saturday. I have been so productive today. I want to give myself like a high five for that. Um so I filmed and edited and like Po like scheduled and posted and everything the three videos that it was going to be two but my review for children of blood and bone just got like really long so um well just too long for the wrap-up video so it's going to be a separate thing um and then i edited it and everything like that and i made dinner i had veggie lasagna which i haven't had in like forever and it's so good and then i just randomly went and picked up akatar for some reason um <laughs> i don't i don't know why i just I uh, kind of like forgot that I wasn't going to start this yet, but I got a hundred and actually, let me see. I got a good couple pages into it. I got 138 pages in. I love this book. I remember when I was about to start and everyone's like, girl, like don't judge it too hard. Akatar is like the least best of the series. And I like whipped through it. And I was like, why is everyone like so apprehensive? I loved this book. I don't, I don't understand how it could get better. And then you read, you read the sequel and it gets better, but I'm a hundred and almost 40 pages in, so um, I probably might be able to actually finish this tomorrow, which I'd be really happy about. But now I'm going to start reading Ace of Shades. I want to try and get to at least 
what page 100 today um ideally get to page 200 but we'll see uh how, how it goes um i feel like i'm either gonna know pretty quickly that i love it or that i hate it so um hopefully hopefully it works out well and i will check in right before bed to see how far i got into this Hey everyone, just kind of checking in. It's about midnight now, um, but I got a good chunk of the way through Ace of Shades. I'm really, really liking this book. It's giving me a lot of like Six of Crows kind of vibes with like almost like a mix of like Anastasia and James Bond, like maybe not James Bond, maybe Ocean's Eleven, like the casino kind of stuff. It's really, really good. I'm enjoying this like a lot. Um, I'm just putting the bookmark in now and I'm on... Uh, page two, ooh, 224. Um, yeah, so I'll definitely finish this off tomorrow. I'm very, very, very pleasantly surprised by this. It's been like solidly paced and everything throughout the whole book. So I just whipped through that, you know, two thirds ish or so. Um, definitely past the halfway point. Um, and I'm definitely going to finish it, finish it tomorrow. I'm just super tired and really hungry right now. So I'm going to go to bed. Um, but yeah, very pleasantly surprised by this book. I'm really, really happy that I gave this a go and didn't let Daughter of the Burning City deter me because I'm really into this book. And I can't believe that this book didn't get picked up whereas Daughter of the Burning City did. Like, there's just, like, so much goodness and potential with this book. And I'm really curious. This is going to be a trilogy. So I'm so curious to see where this goes. Um, I'm, I'm really liking it. Hey everyone, just wrapping up my weekend. I had a really good reading day today. I finished two books, so I basically got one done every single day this weekend, which I'm really happy with. So I finished the arc I got for Ace of Shades by Amanda Foody, and in case you don't watch my wrap-up, um, I didn't really enjoy Daughter of the Burning City as a story, but this book was really, really good. I'm going to talk more about it, but I, like, I didn't like her other work, but this, this was, this was really good. I read it in, like, less than 24 hours. I'm pretty, pretty impressed with it. And I also just finished rereading Akatar. <sighs> uh, I love this book. I'm just like, I know that Rachel, I know that uh, A Court of Mist and Fury is going to, like, mess me and totally make me switch teams. But, um, whatever. So I want to read, I want to move A Court of Mist and Fury up on my TBR now. and kind of wanted to pick it up right away. But I got other books to read. So, um, I've got those two done. Um, I have to put together my TBR pile for the week and eat dinner. Hi. And, um, yeah, and then I'll be, be all good and done for the weekend. I have zero idea what I want to read this week, but... I don't know. Hmm. I think I want to get to the heart of betrayal. I don't know. I don't know. I'll have to like stare very hard at my TBR shelf and, and go from there. But yeah, that was my weekend. Hey everyone, it's Monday afternoon. Let's go back from work and everything. And there's a, a package in my box. I'm so excited. I'm pretty sure I know what it is. I'm so excited for these books. Oh my goodness. Hi! And the puppy's being real cute. Hey? Okay, gotta open this. Hold that. So excited. Oh, there's this random sticker. But, <laughs> oh my god, it's so pretty. It's so pretty. Oh my god, it's so pretty. <gasps> Comes out tomorrow. Oh, I'm so excited. It's much smaller than the um, paper arc was. Oh, it has like textures that the first book didn't have. Interesting. I'm very curious, knowing that it's quite smaller than, than what the arc was. Um, mm -hmm. I wonder what the page count is. Oh, so it's only 340 pages. I feel like the arc that I read was like over 400. So I'm very curious now. I could be totally wrong, but I feel like I remember it being like 400 pages or something like that. But, oh my god, I'm so excited. I'm going to read that this month. I'm so excited this book oh, and then once I'm done this I'm going to read the read in chapter that came out um, and I can put my pre-order stickers and everything in it now yay and then I honestly just kind of forgot that I had pre-ordered this because I was originally like girl you should save money wait for it to go on book, book outlet but I just kind of in love with this author right now so I didn't end up canceling it um, 
Back on Badass Broads comes out tomorrow as well. 52 Forgotten Women Who Changed the World by Mackenzie Lee, the author of, um, oh, what's the, it's like a Frankenstein retelling book that I have, Monster, This Monstrous Thing. And then she also wrote Gentleman's Guide to Vice and Virtue. And we she is also doing Guide to Petticoats and Piracy, I think it is. So, oh, I'm so excited for this. I'm trying to get my libraries to buy this because I think it'd be a good addition to the collection. So I'm just so excited about this. I'm so sad she's doing a tour for it. She's not even leaving the United States. But I'm just so excited for this. Okay, I think that is the last of my hauls for a while. Dear Lord, I hope so. I'm going to try and go the month of March without buying any new books, which should be an interesting task. But yeah, I think I can do it. Um... I think I have the Wicked Deep pre-ordered for this month, and that's kind of it. And I think I have Obsidio. I either pre-ordered it or... Oh, I don't know. Obsidio is coming out this month, though. But, um... Oh, no, no, sorry, no. I'm going to buy it at the beginning of April with a couple other books. I'm buy it through Indigo, so I get them all at once. Um, so I think I'm going to attempt to go a whole month without buying books. We shall see. I just need a chance to catch up on all the arcs. And I bought so many books in February, so I'm going to have to do a haul video. Um, we'll see. We'll see how this attempt goes. But, yeah. So, I am going to try and get finished uh, Sight Witch. I'm just starting it now, so I'm going to read this. And then I want to try... Woo! And then I want to try and get... Oh my goodness, I'm dropping everything. I want to try and get a couple chapters in on Jane Unlimited tonight and figure out... Um, like I said, it's... One of these all genre books, and I've had a couple people, it's one of those books people are like, this is weird as hell, and I couldn't understand it, I don't want to finish it. And I have people who are like, I don't know what the hell was going on, but I was interested the whole time. So I'm I'm hoping that uh, I'll be able to figure that out pretty early on. But yeah, those are my plans. Read Sight, which is, a, is my first task. And yeah, it's my Monday. All right, I'm wrapping up the evening. Actually, I did really well, because I had, in addition to all the reading I did, I went grocery shopping too, so... I uh, worked my way through Sight Witch. Um, I feel like I need to reread Truth Witch or Win Witch because I legit read this and was like, I don't understand the purpose of this book. Like, but whatever. You know, I'm going to have to reread Truth, Truth Witch and Win Witch anyways. It's honestly not super fresh in my brain. So I didn't read it for that reason, but I kind of have my thoughts on it. Um, but then I started working my way through Jane Unlimited and I didn't realize it until... I was, like, just reading, and then I got up to do something and came back and tried to catch up, like, like, t I felt like it was only, like, two pages after, or two pages of listening to the audiobook without being, watching the physical book. The book doesn't have chapters, so I'm just, just wandering around the actual book right now, trying to find, <laughs> trying to find where I'm listening to in the audiobook, but so far, I'm 14% of the way in on the audiobook, and oh my god, I'm in love with this book already. I don't even know why. Nothing seems to have happened, but I'm just super into it already. Not a Scooby-Doo clue why, but yeah, I'm pretty happy about that. So if it keeps going that way, I am definitely going to pick up a copy of this whenever it shows up on Book Outlet, if it's not already on there. Because um, I'm like super in I mean, It might just be because I love Kristen Kishore's writing, I think. I don't know, but it's just so, like, such, like, a... It almost seems like Clue, the game, with, like, all the rich people and, like, people, like, being super sketchy about everything. I just get this vibe of Clue for some reason. Um, but now that I'm, uh... I think now that I'm done Sight Witch, um, a book without an audiobook, I think I'm going to start reading... If I could find it. Oh, here it is. So tomorrow, I think I am going to start reading uh, the through the arc of Slight. Um, and so it's now on the pile with Jane Unlimited. And hopefully I can uh, read my way through Jane Unlimited tomorrow and then get at least a page 50 or 100 of Slight. And then I want to start the um, audiobooks for the audiobook for Queen's Rising, I think. Or no. Or, sorry, not Queen Rising. The Heart of Betrayal first, and then Queen's Rising. But, um, yeah, so that was my Monday. I think I was actually quite happy with, with the reading I got done. And I might have some, like, really legit good books. I'm really happy about that. Because I was reading, like, a lot of, like, just mediocre books. I was like, oh, this is a good book. And then I read books, I'm like, this is an amazing book. So, yeah. Hey, everyone. It's Tuesday evening, actually. Um, 
I didn't really have anything to update earlier, so I didn't didn't do any vlog. But I actually started or p continued reading and finished uh, Jane Unlimited this evening. This is probably one of the weirdest books I've ever read in my life, and I loved it. <laughs> I legitimately cr couldn't give you like a summary of it, so I don't even know how this book has like uh, like a blurb thing. But it's one of the weirdest books I've ever read. Plot-wise, it's like up there with Neil Gaiman in terms of weirdness. Um, but I loved it. I could definitely see why some people don't, wouldn't love it, but I'm like, I guess that niche market for weird as hell books that have like contemporary, then it switches to a mystery with like art theft, and, and then it switches to like family-ish drama from the contemporary setting through the mystery, and then you start doing dimension jumping through paintings, and there's dinosaurs in other dimensions, and then there's talking house pets. It's a weird as hell book, but I loved it. So I'm definitely going to try and um, either, I don't even know if there are paperback copies out of it yet. Maybe watch for the paperback copies to come out, um, or pick up a, a copy off of Book Outlet whenever it pops up on there, but I, I know I didn't understand three quarters of it, but it was just so entertaining and I loved the writing and the characters are just so all over the place and hot messes. I don't, e I legitimately can't even explain totally why I enjoyed it. I just did. So that's been my evening. I was going to pick up Slight, but my work week has just been so busy this week. Um, and uh, I'm just trying to get ready for all the chaos that is coming next week with being out of the office for as many days and then I'm taking on new tasks at work and everything like that so things are um kind of piling up so I'm kind of exhausted so I'm not going to touch light I'm just going to have some soup because I made some carrot soup while I was finishing my book and then I'm going to try and get to bed before 11 o'clock and I'll start reading Heart of Darkness no Heart of Betrayal yeah Heart of Betrayal tomorrow, um, and then maybe tomorrow, depending on how tired I am, um, I'll pick up and try and get 50 to 100 pages in at least on Slight. Um, yeah, we'll see how I feel. I, in all honesty, I love the Remnant Chronicles, though, so Lord, you know, I'll say that and then, like, I'd probably, probably bet $5 that I just end up powering through Heart of Betrayal tomorrow <laughs> and just finishing it tomorrow, but we'll see. But nonetheless... Uh, I'll, I'll try and get to slight in the next couple days, but yeah, so I'm just going to hang out with the pooches. Hey? Hey? I have a feeling I'm not going to get lots of sleep tonight. He spent like the whole evening since I got home passed out snoring on the couch. So I have a feeling he's like wide awake and got like, wants to run around or something now, but, but yeah, so that's, that's my Tuesday. Hey everyone, it is Wednesday. Day, I think I, I thought today was Tuesday for like three quarters of the day um, and then I was like oh my god I have to go to yoga today but it got canceled so I just hung out at home and chilled and worked on my book so I actually am just putting the bookmark in at page 282 or 283 I think on the heart of betrayal and um, I love Leah I just love this series, um, but I'm just putting it down. I have, I managed to get my hair dyed, re-dyed again tonight, and I have to eat dinner now, um, and then, hi baby, and then I am going to try and read uh, 50 or 100 pages, hopefully 100, tonight of Slate by Jennifer Sommers, we can finally start this arc. Um, I have to do some laundry though before then, and then I want to pass out because I got lots to do at work tomorrow, so I need to get a good night's sleep, um, but... Yeah, that's that's my super crazy adulting Wednesday. All right, so I was gonna start reading Slight, but I finally like finished putting my laundry and everything away in adulting, and I sat down and I read up to page five and literally couldn't remember what was on page one, two, three, and four. So I think I'm like just tired and done for the day. So I'm gonna start the book fresh tomorrow. Hopefully, I won't be quite as tired, but um. Yeah, so I'm, I'm closing the day with just doing the Heart of Betrayal today. And hopefully tomorrow I'll be able to read, uh, finish the Heart of Betrayal and get at least to page 50 on Slate. Hey everyone, it is uh, Thursday? Thursday? Yeah. It had a really long day at work, um, and it's over. And I have a half day tomorrow, and then I have to take 
the Sherlock puppy to get some needles at the vet, which is super not fun, but whatever. Um, but I actually just like, I almost finished it right before work, but um, I finished reading The Heart of Betrayal, so I'm done this one. I'm so excited. I just, this series, like, it's nothing new. It just hypes me up so much between, at the end of the f one book to, like, get to the next book. It's so good. Um, but while I was at the library today, actually, for work, I picked up my hold that I had. It finally came in, The Blood Rose Rebellion. I've heard very mixed things about this one, so I decided to pick it up through the library. And it's such a pretty cover, though, and there are paperbacks out of it. So if I like it, then maybe I can justify buying it. I have to like it a lot, though, so... Um, hopefully I can get to this later in the month, probably more pushing it closer towards April, in all honesty. But I'm really excited to, to give this one a go. Um, I mean, like, I've read lots of books where people are like, oh, it just wasn't good. And then you read it and you're like, man, I don't know what's wrong with you. But it's also blurred by Jessica Kluas, which wrote a series that I know a lot of other people also said, like, oh, I didn't love it. But I read it and I was like, I'm in love with this series. It's like Victorian England and X-Men. So, like, pfft. It's okay if you don't like it, because I like it. But actually, I just got home and I have a package from Indigo. I had a couple pre-orders, and in all honesty, I kind of forget when their due dates are, or when their release dates were, so I don't exactly know what is coming in this one. Um. Ooh. Yay! So, I pre-ordered these uh, a couple weeks ago. I No, probably like a couple months ago now. Um, so, I picked up Cadaver and Queen. I really haven't heard much about this one, but it just sounds really cool. Um, yeah. I don't think I'm going to get to it until April, but the cover is so, so cool. I love this cover. Um, so, yeah, like, even if I didn't like the book, this is going on my bookshelf, and it's going to have a facing out once I finally get enough bookshelves to actually do that. Um, it's just so pretty. And it's blurred by Neil Gaiman, too, which really, really did sell me on it. And also Heart of Iron, which is on my March TBR. I'm so excited for this book. Um, it's like an Anastasia space opera-y kind of retelling. Um, and there's people, I've seen some reviews on Goodreads from people that, like, I follow because I know that I have opposite tastes of. And whenever they hate a book, I love it and vice versa. And the people that I do follow in that have, like, one and two starred this book. And I'm like, ha ha, I know I'm going to love it now. So I'm even more hyped for this book. And the cover is so cool. I didn't realize it was shiny either. <laughs> I'm just so excited to get to this one. Um, hopefully, probably not next week, but hopefully the week after. But So yeah, um, now that I have all my books and everything, I am going to try and get, like I've said a couple for the past couple days, try and get to page 100 of Slight by Jennifer Somersby, um, and then also pick up and start reading uh, Queen, The Queen's Ride, no, what's it called? Where'd it go? Oh my god, my apartment's a hot mess. Uh, and then I want to start working my way uh, through The Queen's Rising. I have the audiobook through the library, which I like want to follow along with, because someone told me the audiobook's really, really good. So I am super excited to try and, once again, try and get about like 50 pages in or so. That's that's my goal with that. And then uh, chill out and have lunch and, or dinner, yeah, dinner. And um, yeah, just chill out. And I'll kind of check in if I if I get some some reading done. So I am actually calling it an early evening. I got woo, to about page 20 of Slight. Um, I don't like the author's writing, so I normally give it to page, like, up to 50. But that's, like, to give the story time to pick up. I don't like the writing. I got 20 pages, and I was really struggling already. Just don't like that. So unfortunately, I'm going to have to pass it on. The, the arc I got to uh, maybe a coworker or something, but... That's too bad, because I like to support Canadian authors, but it's just not for me. But I didn't read enough of it to, like, make a judgment or anything. And it wasn't bad. It's just not my... I just don't enjoy writing like that. Um, but, so then I picked up The Queen's Rising by Rebecca Ross. It's been a slow start, and not tons has happened, and I don't think the writing is, like, amazing. But I'm enjoying the world and, like, kind of the magic system, and, like, the, there's a lot of history in it. And the book design is beautiful. There's this gorgeous map, which I'll show in my wrap-up video. Um, and the deco ledges. But I'm, you know, it's not amazing so far, but... It's, it's a slow pace. It feels like it's building up to something. So I'm just putting the bookmark in at page 122. Um, and hopefully I can finish it tomorrow. Hopefully uh, I'll be able to, uh, you know, listen to listen on some headphones and wait at the vet or something like that. Um, and finish, finish that book. And I'll be pretty happy with that for a week. Um, and then I've been kind of coordinating my reading pile for 
there's a readathon going on in the TBR and Beyond group. So I want to like kind of, I've got kind of a pile of books that I need to whittle down to use for that. And then I'm going to have to like start packing and everything because I have to leave for a couple days. At the beginning of next week, um, but that's that's all fun to deal with tomorrow. So I am having an early night and having some carrot soup and passing out. Hey everyone, happy Friday. I did all my running around that I needed to, so I am going to be home for the rest of the evening working on the readathon that's going on in TBR and beyond right now. So I am about halfway through The Queen's Rising right now, and I think I'll be able to finish it in the next, like, two, three hours or so. And then I want to try and read up to Chapter 4 of Society of Wishes by Elise Kova, and I think it's Lynn Larsh, I think is her name, the co-author, because um, they're doing a kind of readathon. And then I think I'm going to start working my way on, um, I think, Daughters of the... Whoa. I think Daughters of the Storm. I want to try and get that arc done. Because um, I want to send that out to my friend Amanda with the arc for Ace of Shades as well. So, other than that, that's been my super, super exciting Friday. And, um, yeah, I hope you had a wonderful week.